Hello, my name's Andy Palmer, and this is something that I haven't done for over 15 months. A race brief. <laughs> okay, so this is one big giant race brief for all of the races. I was going to be really clever and do it outside, and I was going to have lots of fancy dress, and I was going to do this, and it would be really funny. But, being Britain, it's blowing a gale, and it is just miserable. So... What we're going to do is Gemma's given me a list of things that I have to say for the race brief, like she normally does. But this time, I won't forget to bring the list with me because I've got it in front of me. Right, so welcome to White Star Running's first race in since March last year. It's been a lovely year. Um, I've got fat, and um, that's about it. So, yeah, yeah. Bit of, bit of trepidation, bit exciting, looking forward to it. So, right, so look, item number one on the agenda. Welcome. All right, so this, these events have to be safe. Okay, yeah, restrictions have gone and you can do this and you can do that. But we're erring on the side of caution, okay? The main one is you've got, hang on, wait a minute, a face mask, okay? You need a face mask. Yeah, if you're sure you're wearing one of these by now. You need a face mask. Where's my Star Wars one go? Oh, well. You need a face mask or a buff with you at all times. Purely because you, you're. this is a solos race and you're going to be stopping and you're going to be mingling and you're going to be doing stuff with your team. Even though it's outside, you need one on you should you require medical treatment. So you trip over, you land on your head, you're unconscious, you know, or not unconscious, you're, you're, you hurt yourself. We still have to have COVID protocols in place to treat you, or the medics to treat you. Um, sorry, you know. Okay, so uh, what else is number two on the list? Uh, so read the race instructions. You've all been sent them. Read them. Pull out the spelling and grammar mistakes. Uh, there's loads because me and Gemma wrote them. Not a problem. Um, uh, if you can't find the race instructions, they're on the. Um, White Star Running website under news. Okay, scan your NHS code every day, please. Um, if you've got one, if there's a QR code. Please scan it every day you're on site. Arrive ready with your number filled out and pinned to your shirt. Shirt to the front. Not on your backpack. Not on your st staple to your pants with four layers on top of it. Not stuffed down your socks. On your shirt. And then the new amazing chip timing system... We'll be able to pick it up, please. Okay. You will need a cup and you will need some hand sanitizer with you. Okay. Hand sanitize your hands. I know the last 12 months, amazing scenes. Everybody's washing their hands. Who knew that was a thing? You can wash your hands because the government told me to. <sighs> Have your mask on you. All right. If you've got a buff or a muff, just bring that with you. You can you can take it off, put it, turn it into headgear, whatever. I often wrap my ponytail in it uh please wear a muff or a, a mask if you're heading into the tents we have a big tent for solos to lay themselves out and get out. hang on you might be able to see let me have a look they're building it as we speak over in the far corner where are they this is the worst race brief in ever anyway whatever so they're building a they're building the tents as we speak okay right important stuff uh, please, when you're queuing for stuff, have, have a mask on. Have a mask with you. Have one on. I know we're outside, but just, you know, safe practice, yeah? Uh, keep some rule of sticks. Six still applies. Um, there's a massive area. This field is huge, and we've got a big area for solos and for uh, teams to lay themselves out and spread out. Don't camp on the racing line. We'll have that taped out. Okay, that's ready to go. Um Keep social distancing. I know we're well practiced now. I mean, I was practicing it before it was fashionable. So, you know. Hugging. Everybody loves a hug. J&J &J will resume their normal service later on this year when it is safe to do so. If you want to hug someone, I'll say permission. Don't go up and randomly, hey, here's a hug. Don't do that. Let's just, let's keep it low tempo. Let's Let's start off nicely and neatly i know loads of you've probably done loads of races anyway so it's they, they let's let's keep going with good practice 
marshalling. There will be marshals out at critical points. Um, they'll have PPE on. The aid stations are liquids only this time. Um, sorry and all that, but um, it's purely for safety standards and safety. When you're going into a aid station, please put your um, hand sanitizer on, uh, just for, just for good practice again, um, and grab a drink and then move aside. Um, you will have loads of areas, like I keep saying, for the solos on the Saturday and for the 50s and for the teams, there's loads of space to spread out, leave your stuff and recirculate round. Each lap is 10k, uh, sorry, just over 10k, it's quarter marathon distance. So for the, uh, what, else have, what else have I got to tell you? Routes, right, shoes, I recommend trails. Uh, you could get away with roads. There are some wet bits because it's been belting down here. Uh, night running, right. If You must have a head or chest torch or both, which I recommend. Uh, if you get on the, on the frolic and the 50 miler, make sure that you take out after 7 p.m. a head torch with you. Because in the woods, that way, it gets dark really, really quickly. And I mean well quickly, in it. Uh, all the races are cupless. Bring a cup. Okay. Uh, so, on Saturday, Lisa Clark's birthday, 27 again, hot stepper from Poole, 27, apparently. Um, also, first marathons for Adrian Clay, Matt Hill, Daryl Venner and Amy Burrows over the weekend. Ox of two halves. Right, a couple of things about the Ox of two halves. It is an out and back course. You run to 13 miles, then you turn around and run back the way you've just come. And that is that way in the valleys and that way in the woods. See, ox two halves. See, see where I'm going with it? There are three things that you must do on the route, okay? You must do them. But they are at the, in the, towards the second half of each event, okay? So get your pace up, get going, do your thing. Uh, you'll be asked to do something at 13 miles at about 17 miles and then at about 22 miles, okay? It's not too onerous. Please take part. Please take part, because that's the whole point in this. It's a bit of fun. It's a laugh, right? And uh, Last-minute changes will be communicated on the A-frame board. I didn't know we had an A-frame, so this is news to me. So we've got an A-frame board, apparently, um, and there will be news information on there. Now, most importantly... Please enjoy yourself. This is uh, our first event back. This is our first event back. I can guarantee you when we make mistakes. Guarantee you. Don't go shouting about it on, on social media. Come and see us. Yeah? It's not a big deal. You know, I'm, we've spent 15, minute, 15 months preparing for this event. And then we realised that we haven't prepared well enough because we haven't done enough time. <laughs> oh. God, why me? Anyway, so we're doing this, and then we're doing it all again next week at Morton. So it's going to be fun. And um, this is the world's longest race briefing. Dogs, please clear up clear up your poo afterwards, all right? That's one thing. And have a good time. And if you're doing the Ox Epic, have a good time doing that. And if you're doing the Epic have a good time doing that as well, you mad fools.